boys and girls, man and woman, I got challenged. And it's nothing special about challenging me, but I recorded it and I decided to explain what happened, why it happened and what we learned from this. I know me saying that I can't be beaten is provocative, but it's obviously a joke. Not that I can't be beaten, but that I said it in the first place was. Because there's probably many in the game, or at least a bunch, or a few, or at least a couple of people, I would think, that hasn't lost a one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm not alone. There are more. But this got people to want to know more. And this is why I got challenged. Kraken of Space wanted the crown. And to be honest, he had the crown if you ask me. He plays the game very good. And when he challenged me, I got a bit nervous. But I don't back down, and I don't give up, and I'm sure as hell don't avoid the challenge. Who wants to be king? I got a tight schedule, but we did finally find a time to do this. And I will not spoil anything, how it went down. You have to see that for yourself as I'm explaining the fight or the fights since we ended up having two. So don't skip ahead, enjoy the show. The fight started off with no knowledge about each other's ships, and I saw too late that he wanted me to be on zero, so I accidentally started at 100. And why this is an accident? Is cause I'm also a close brawler as well. So we had to slow boat a bit. I did have an afterburner though. So I see that he got a Macario, and since he's not shooting, I figure he's probably close range. I'm heading to the center, but I also hope that he moves towards me. The reason for that is that if I got more webs on him, I can stop him and maybe get closer to the center when the sphere comes. And then he takes damage before me and I would probably win. But this is if we're both very tanky. And as I said, I have no idea what his fit is. He does approach me, so I keep that strategy in my mind. As I'm getting within the DPS range, I release my drones and I start. I figured I would change the drone, but I thought about that a little bit too late. The reason for that is that if he can't hit me, he will of course kill the only thing he can until I'm in range. And that will be my drone. <laughs> my sweet, sweet drone! So he kills my drones. and. Now I see we are close enough for using my sentries, in the hope that he will target me and leave them, since they will be just further and further away. This is what he does, so I was happy. As we started brawling, he does some serious damage, and I activate my DCU. Cause if he's using all his cooldowns on whatever he got, I need to hold that DPS down as much as I can, and in Ego Traverse, I can use this DCU three times before I need to save it for the end. I am still aiming for the center as well, but I am being webbed, so I just work on being closer to the center than him. And since his damage are that high, I am curious right now how his tank is. So I just keep my DPS up, and I'm very happy that I launched the sentries, because they do good damage. And here you can see that he can't hold my DPS and it seems that he's still on cooldown. So I win this round. Then he asked me if I want to do a warp to zero start. So we go again. Here you can see that he's bursting so hard that my DCU is active right away. This is basically just a heavy brawl, and I feel that if I can only tank his burst, I will be fine. And I do feel I activated the DCU a bit too fast this time, so the damage he does bleeds through at the end. My shield is shrieking, but I'm already in his armor, so I feel quite calm right now. 
when he starts to nibble on my armor I'm already in his structure so unless he can activate the burst again right now he's all mine the burst never comes and I still have enough tank for his DPS and I also have enough DPS for his tank So Shiva wins again. This one was a closer call. I don't know about his skills, implants or nano core, but if he got more to improve, then it's doubtful that with those maxed, Docking I would have survived. Accepted. But the fight was very exciting and fun, and I want to thank Kraken of Space for letting me make a video of it. <laughs> As he said, you can keep your crown, Shiv, and I intend to. But he also said that he will be back. Thank you all for watching and leave a like and a sub if you haven't. Let's be better in games and as humans together. Fly safe, recklessly aggressive and fly smiling. And I see you guys again.